Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got a question in from Anthony Johnston. He says, in regards to my ADD review, what's the best lens for the ADD, second party or Canon? And that's a pretty loaded, wide open question because it depends what lens um, you're talking about, whether you're talking about zooms, whether you're talking about primes, whether you're talking about wides, whether you're talking about a normal zoom, whether you're talking about a telephoto zoom, uh, what do you want to what you want to shoot too factors in. Do you want to shoot portraits? Do you want to shoot landscape? All these things factor in. Um, the best general lens for the ADD is the kit lens that I got it with, the 18 to 135 STM. That's what I would recommend. It's a great lens for an all-round travel walkabout lens um, for a great price great performing it's stm for video and you can either get the stm version or the newer stm usm lens very very nice lens so that's one of my biggest recommendations for a starter if you know if you're just getting into you don't have any lenses and you need a general lens that one for sure then i would add the 50 um f18 stm love that lens um, for my ultra wide recommendation, the Canon 10 to 18 STM can't beat the value for the price. Canon 10 to 22 is nice as well, but it's twice the price. And personally, I think you get a uh, better bang for your buck out of the 10 to 18. So that's the route I would go for long, um, depends what your needs are as a general telephoto lens. I will go with the 55 to 250. Very nice little performing lens. Make sure you get the image stabilized, um, one now. You could also get the 70 to 200 F4 LIS. That's a very nice lens too, just a little more expensive. You could get the non-IS version if you don't mind that. Um, and it's very nice performing lens, very sharp, F4 constant aperture. Um, mostly what you're getting there is maybe a little bit better bokeh and a little, and you're getting the faster aperture over the 55 to 250. So make sure those are things you need. Uh, and then for long lenses, a lot of people like the Canon 100 to 400 if you're into birding and things like that. So those are in general, the Canon lenses I would recommend. They're all very good. Um, Sigma's new line of lenses is very nice, um, very unique when you look at things like the 18 to, what is it, 18 to 35 F18 and then the 50 to 100 F18. Those are very unique. There's no other F18 zooms on the market. Um, their prime lenses are very nice now. You've got the 50 art lens. What is it? 50 F1.4, I believe. A lot of people really like that lens. Very nice. Um, it's kind of an upgrade to the 50 Canon 50mm F1.8 STM. And I would probably buy that Sigma over the Canon 50mm F1.4. Um, so those are some lenses I would recommend that way. I actually really like the Sigma 8-16 to if you want to spend a little bit more money. More money on your ultra wide and get a little bit wider, a little bit better performing lens, that's the route I would go over the Canon 10 to 22. So there I'm throwing out a whack of different lenses. I'm throwing out um, different brands, but uh, trying to address, because it was a very general question, what do you guys think? What would you say? I mean, as Anthony said, he said, what's the best lens for the ADD? I think it's hard to name one. As I said, very happy with the 18 to 135 STM kit lens, whether it's the STM or the newer STM USM lens. Um, but what do you guys think? What lens or lenses would you qualify as the best for you or what you would recommend as the best for the Canon ADD? Leave your comments below. Let us know which lenses or which lens and why. And let's help Anthony out. Thanks for your question, Anthony. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.